God says it's okay to let your guard down. So many of us have walked in a season with the lions and the tigers and the bears, and we've had to be on guard and we had to be on defense in the wilderness, but we're not in the wilderness anymore. So God says, go ahead, let down your guards. I'm not going to let anyone in your life that's going to hurt you. And if, if, if a snake does show up, I'll give you discernment and confirmation, but you don't got to walk around with a chip on your shoulder because there are some people that just genuinely want to love you, get to know you and care for you. I've sent destiny helpers, but will you let them in? I sent your husband, I sent your wife, but would you let that person in? So let down our guards in this season of our life. And the Lord's going to talk more about this in um, the healing circle tomorrow. But until then, let love in and trust people. And you don't have to defend yourself because the Lord is a defender. You don't have to protect yourself because God is going to protect you. He'll give you the wisdom and the knowledge to be able to do so. How to guard your heart and how to set up those boundaries that you need. But for now, let go and trust because it's different. You're not in a wilderness anymore. You're in a promised land. You don't have to be controlled by fear anymore, thinking that, oh, if I let this guard down, if I if I let this go, will I be disappointed? Will I be hurt again? Let let God bring in that healing and that you know that you know what? If even if a situation does arrive that could possibly potentially hurt me, I'm gonna know how to handle this because I'm not walking into it giving all of me at the beginning and just not pouring out so quickly, but just being wise and taking my time in relationships and taking my time to get to know people and not being desperate for love or performing for love and just jumping out of the boat too soon. So God to give us a wisdom and a knowledge how to maintain and balance these relationships. But right now he wants you to just open up your mind and be willing to get involved, willing to even try it out. So God to give us the, the, the tools he just wants you to say yes to the building of these new relationships. Because when your husband and wife come, you can't be on guard and you can't be afraid of anything. You can't be timid. But like I said, we'll talk more about this in the healing circle tomorrow. But um, go ahead and subscribe. Let love in. Let God in. And let trust in. Let mercy in. It's time, family. We got to let go. We got to live our lives. We got to enjoy our lives. In Jesus' name, y'all have a blessed one.